Over the past few weeks, allegations have been made against me, my family, and our charitable organization, the Open Hand Foundation, asserting charity fraud and more. I want to make it 100% clear. At no point in the foundation's history was there any criminal or financial fraud. So we got some spicy YouTube drama, but it's actually more than just drama. It could be possibly criminal type behavior. Captain Paul for TSP, let's just get right into this nugget. The completionist who was running charity live streams for years to help support dementia foundations to hopefully find a cure someday. Apparently, instead of giving the money that was earned over these live streams to the foundation to help dementia research, he was just keeping it in a bank account and using it to pay administrative fees. I can confirm that as of Wednesday, November 29th, 2023, the Open Hand Foundation has donated $600,000 to the Association for Frontotemporal Degeneration. And while it's great, he finally donated this money. It's absolutely pathetic that he needed to be exposed for this to happen. Because how much time would have had to pass for him to do the right thing? You can argue, well, he finally did it. But $600,000 thousand dollars he was sitting on and not giving to this foundation to help support research without some ordinary gamers and carl coming forth with their huge expose videos would he actually give that money to this foundation or would it have just stayed as his personal little piggy bank forever those are honest to god questions you can ask and you could tell he was feeling the pressure because the phone call between him carl and mudahar aka some ordinary gamers showed he was not in a great mental state he was really nervous about this story coming out and i'm gonna let that whole clip play the last thing i want to do is ruin the legacy of my family of my mom and her memory especially because this is such a personal thing for the last 25 years of my life um you know, I'm, I, I'm not trying to be like, do you guys want money to help me hide this? It's not, this is at all. I'm just asking from a humanity perspective of like, if I am the target of this, I have 20 mouths to feed. I have sponsors. I have a business. I'm trying to make video games. I'm trying to get out of content creation so I don't have to worry about YouTube anymore and, and do better things in the world. And I just know because of my track record of things like G4 exploding, me being friends with John Tron when he was a racist, uh, you know, I've been a part of like, you know, pro Jared, like pulling one yeah. thread about the charity thing is going to upheave my entire life in a way that scares the living crap out of me. And I don't want to go home tonight and tell everyone, hey, there is a gigantic thing coming to claim my career and you all have to close down and find somewhere else to do. I know this is shitty me to say this. I'm not trying to ask for sympathy or anything, but this kind of stuff, I mean, I've been following your guys' stuff for years. The stuff with Billy Mitchell, Carl, the stuff that you've done, Muto, with tons of content creators over the years. Like, mm -hmm. there's no nuance to this. People are going to see this and they're going to immediately go, that Gerard guy who's been nice to a bunch of people actually isn't very nice overall. Fuck him. Let's get rid of him. I've noticed a trend from the completionist in this clip even in the videos he released with his response. And it kind of angers me. The last thing I want to do is ruin the legacy of my family, of my mom and her memory. Experiencing the struggles and hardships of caring for someone with dementia, we decided to start a foundation in her honor. Advocating for more awareness has been such an important part of keeping my mother's memory alive. He's using his mother, his dead mother, the one who went through this traumatic experience and is in a better place right now. He's using her death as an excuse for his shitty behavior. For me personally, I would ask him, well, what would your mother think of your actions of not doing the right thing? Don't ever use your mother's death as a shield for your shitty behavior. It is traumatic what happened to the mother and the family went through a lot, condolences, but it's a disgusting little man that uses someone else's death as an excuse or an emotional tactic to not deal with the consequences of their own actions. I cannot wrap my head around somebody using that situation as a scapegoat. He is a pathetic little man. Sorry, I'm disappointed that I was not more straightforward regarding the foundation's timeline for making donations 
and that I made statements potentially implying donations were made when they had not yet been. Of course, if you look at their donation, they say that your gift will contribute to vital research for a cure for this devastating disease. I don't know if he's just so full of shit that he doesn't understand how stupid this statement is. You didn't let people know you weren't giving money to the foundations immediately? I don't know if he's just that fucking stupid, or maybe he thinks his fans are that dumb to buy that? That makes no sense. People gave their hard-earned money to a cause they truly believed in and they wanted to help people like you who lost family members to this horrific disease that turns people into a shell of themselves and is one of the most traumatic things you can go through as a family member. You didn't think it was prudent not to inform them that the funds were not being spent for the cause they were sending money to? You thought it'd be good just to sit on a bunch of money and not donate it? Does, does any, am I losing anybody here? Does that make any fucking sense? I am not gonna let my reputation be compromised by allegations that are not true. I own up to my part in this, but I will not be painted as someone who is a con artist and embezzler. I won't be someone whose name gets tarnished without putting up a fight. I owe it to my friends, my family, and myself to stand up to this situation right now. You can't just say, oops, I'm sorry that that happened. You can't just say that you made uh, potentially misleading statements when I've played statements here that are not potentially misleading. So what do scammers usually do when they're backed into a corner? I'm gonna sue, I'm gonna sue, sue, sue. And hey, you can sue anybody in the world. That is true, but you better have everything backed up with facts because the facts are you sat on money for multiple years, about $600,000 worth of cash in charitable donations given thinking it was going to dementia research. And instead of that money going to its proper channels, you sat on it, used it to pay administrative fees. You outright said that in your response video. It's a shame because the completionist is a YouTuber that I held in a high regard before this drama. I really did. Now, it's been a year or two since I've really seen any of his videos, and I'm not gonna sit here and say I was like the biggest fan of his content, but I can always appreciate quality when I see it. And just seeing how he has behaved through this, the phone call that's come out, it truly shows how little character this human being has. I highly encourage you to watch Some Ordinary Gamers and Carl's videos that will be linked down below in the description. They did a very thorough job to show exactly what happened here. There's no point of me going into greater detail because they can do it far better than I can. But for me, as a creator, as a viewer, and just as a human being, I can never digest any type of completionist type content, any of his material, any organizations that he runs, because it has been shown that he will not do the right thing. As someone like myself that has worked with organizations, done charity work locally, I could never envision and just sitting on a bunch of cash and just hoarding it to pay administrative fees, quote unquote, you gotta do the right thing. Because at the end of the day, money and fame is great, but without integrity, without your soul, you're nothing. I'd like to know your thoughts down below in the comments section. What did you think of this situation? I'm Captain Paul, I'll see you in the next one.